Those of you who are on Facebook, those of you on, 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 on YouTube, go to YouTube and you will enjoy this service today for a long time to come. Right? That is what the purpose of recording is. That is what those of you on Facebook, right? It will be there on Facebook, but the longer one is on YouTube. Because Facebook, there are more people posting on it. So, I'm delighted to be here. Praise the Lord. Giving up thanks is not the physical moment here. These are just vessels, vehicles to do what we want to do. But the giving of thanks has to start from within here. And you know the first principle for giving of thanks? Is that we didn't have the option if we'll be here today or we done by Bell Groves. Yeah? Yes? We didn't have the authority to decide that. Bell Groves or guides or whatever you want to call them. But a certain man of the spirit, I call him man, eh? Because we're all born in the image and like this. And there's a purpose why I said that we are born in the image and like this. We disbelieve that we are born in the image and like this. We continue to disbelieve. And therefore there are some things we continue to do, like doubting Thomases. When the man take up this set of dirt, in my, my words, right? And he... Hey, you. He didn't make a man, you know. Huh? He created. Yeah. Yes? And if he created and said, let's make man in his image and likeness. Yeah? What, did he, what is he saying to you and I? Generations down the road. That we are the same cloth. And you know something? That's why I, will, I love this faith. That's why nobody could get me to, to leave this. My, my first... My first preacher leader was Uriah Bud Butler, age six. Right? I came from Guapo, uh -huh, and he was our titular leader. Now, when I said titular leader, not only spiritual leader, you know. When Butler arrives on a, on, in, in the village on a Sunday from his service in Faisalabad, you could be Anglican, Catholic, Pentecostal, Open Bible, whatever, you have to go to his place. He was the leader. His leadership marked my life. Some things he planted in my life as a child is when I get big, I started to realize what sense he made. Hmm. I'm sorry he wasn't a scholar, eh? but God knows. Because like Eric Williams, who was a spiritual Baptist himself, mm -hmm. Eric Williams yeah. wrote his work. Yeah. Hmm? And in those days, doing scholarly things were not the acceptable norm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, some of the things that he did for us, that today that we will live, we have the standard of living, mm -hmm. is a Baptist man who did it. Uriah Buzz Butler really started to change the picture in 1980. When 19, in 1937, he started to push for the difference in the life of our people in the oil industry. He wasn't doing that as a Roman Catholic or an Anglican. He was doing that as a Baptist man. And recently, recently, the other prime minister, the first one to say that, he came right here, right? And he said, had it, not for, had it not been for the criminalization yeah. of the Baptist faith, yeah. more of our people would have been Baptist today. Yeah. 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 Amen? Yeah. So it is the state that criminalized us in 1917 with the yeah. Bush and Ordinance. Yes? And that perception still lies around. It is the state who will have to do some symbolic things to remove and emit in people's minds that we are not deserving of good treatment. So when he said that people should not be offended if the spiritual Baptist is assisted for his first cathedral and for his, 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 his headquarters complex, he's right. Because the first church for the Anglicans were built by the state. Because those days there was no difference between the state and church. The first church for the Roman Catholics, that was built by the state. And therefore we are saying that that piece of six and a half acres that you gave to us in, in, um, in Cuba, in Berlin, that the state must help us. And he said it on the platform there, we have it in the recording. Nobody should offend, be offended if we help the spiritual Baptist. So we want to hold him to his word, and, yeah. um, and um, this is our bishop here, 
But could we imagine in that time when a mother is, makes a child, she does not know if the father of that child is her own son. Because the way they used to blindfold them and, 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 and those things, she don't know. And then by the time that child is, becomes eight and nine, any morning she has a knock on the door, they, they, they are coming for that child. And imagine that child was born in Moruga. When they take that child, you know where that child ended up? Somewhere in Antigua or St. Lucia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother never see the child. So there's some kind of disconnect that the mother had to develop, right? Because she knows that the daughter could stick around because they might want the daughter to, for the sons to practice on. But the sons must go in the field. So she has to develop a kind of disconnect for the son. So some of that still exists today in our the way we treat things. A lot of fathers, we say the fathers are not looking after the children, but inside of the father's DNA, he was only a stud. No connection with the children. And if any connection, he knows by eight and nine, that child goes. Those are the realities that we have to face. Sometimes when you face that reality, it can almost make you feel to hate. But because we have the Spirit of God in us, we, have to, we, have, we understand that it's not a hate, but knowledge is power. And when we know those things, it makes it easy for us to understand why people treat us the way we do. And then we have the strength of courage to do differently. So I want to bless God for the Thanksgiver. You yeah, have some people who insisted that I came today. I have four different things to come to, but Maruga, Maruga is part of my root. My mother was born in Marak. You see, and she grew up in Laloud. So, yes, Maruga. Somebody in Toronto sent me a Facebook message today, and, and I came, I was born in Maruga. No, I wasn't born. But I, I love this place. I love this place because while a lot of people are quarreling about the invasion of Venezuelans, there are two things that I will not quarrel about. My grandfather, he crossed from Venezuela, Born in, in, in Colombia, just in a place called of Catahina, called, called San Pedro. He and his family moved down to Venezuela and he and a brother came here. Yes? So I, I, I cannot close God by condemning the Venice. But secondly, if you understand geography, there's a little peak outside of Venezuela that Trinidad sits inside of. Yeah? And that is why Tobago is in the hurricane zone and we are sheltered. And for that second reason, we have to thank Venezuela oh, yes. for our protection. Amen? Amen? So those are the important things for us to know. Because you will meet people who will just condemn the Venice yeah. without understanding the history. Mm. Yes. I enjoy being here today. <laughs> have some good soldiers with you. Oh, yeah. some real good soldiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah. That's a very good soul there. And ladies, I mean, when I walk in and I saw my my cannabis from from north, about the same level north as I have. I know that there's a good magnet for this place. Let me finally say to you that we as a spiritual Baptist faith must find ways of bonding together. But this is not going to work when we are pulling and talking about necessary. There are times when, and we must see things differently. Yeah? We must see things. I said, to, I said, I said to my wife, if we leave Tagarigua to go to the carcass, and she see a red, and I said, well, that is red. Yeah, is it? And she said, no, man, that is flamenco. So what is post office red? Now we can talk from home to the carcass on the different reds. But if from the time she says that is red, I say, okay, honey, yes, that is true. No conversation. And if that's the case, one of us useless. <laughs> no, serious. One of us useless if that's the case. So we must be able to live and enjoy the differences. God made the north and the south poles. Right? That's why the, the earth spins on its axis. Even on, the, on your battery, you have to you have to bridge the the the, 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 the and cause a spark with the negative and the positive. But that spark, yeah, that that causes the the, the the engine to tumble. So those are those are those are gifts of God. The differences, man and woman, those are the gifts of God. And therefore, we must learn to enjoy the differences and disagree with or be disagreeable. 
big old best friend. May the peace of God, the peace that passes all understanding. May that peace live with you in your heart and in your soul and in your spirit now and forevermore.